This is a tutorial for the use and installation of swatches in Illustrator CS5. Basic same approach can be used for CS4, CS3. It's on a PC, but the same approach can be used for a Mac. Uh, on a Mac, you would have to use the Applications folder instead. Right, I'm going to use a polka dot set from graphicextras.com. And just go over here, you've got a folder structure once you've downloaded the zip file it's uh, so available on graphic extras but this could be for any other swatches so if you find other swatches on the web you can use those right so just go into that swatches select that file copy and I'm just going to go to the program files section so I'm just going to go there program files Adobe Adobe Illustrator CS5 so the same approach can be used for CS4, CS2, etc. So I'm just going to put them into there. Plugins, no, presets. So you want to go to the preset section. EN underscore GB. You might be on a US machine, so uh, or elsewhere. Uh, it would be EN underscore US, but uh, anyway, for mine is GB. And swatches. So you can see the structure there. I say applications folder instead for a Mac. Right. I'm just going to copy that file and it's come up and asked me for permissions to that because uh, it's got a standard user account right just done that so now the now the thing is with swatches you can actually you don't have to install them here you can actually hold them in any other location it just makes it easier because then when they're there they can actually access via the right side of menu of the swatches so I'm just going to fire up Illustrator it's going to go for all the rest fonts right let's done that now let's bring a quick file new okay now window swatches and you've got swatches there so I'll just bring those to the center and you've got that's the current sort of default and now of course if you're using CS4 CS3 you will see different things and here you've got the uh, different groupings so just going to now go down on the right side so basically you want to go to the right side of the palette of the swatches and open swatch library now because we've added the swatch library to the swatches folder you actually see it in the list so there it is in the list now otherwise you'd have to use the other library which we then can browse for a swatches file so so I'm just going to select that now that library is opened in Illustrator. Now, don't actually appear initially in here. Now, of course, if you select there, so I'm just going to select one, click one there. So you just click there. Then they appear in the documents swatches, and then you can actually modify them. Now, if you edit the original file, if you go to the GX09 underscore Pokedex file, you can actually edit the files there and then save it, and then that's a permanent save. Here, you can just change them, and it's only just purely on the document. Now, I'm just going to create a quick path. It's going to be a basic path, so I'm just going to. Uh, you can just apply the polka dot designs, and you can, of course, click over there, apply the, the designs again. Now, once you've got this, you've actually I just move the swatches out of the way, so just go over there. Now, you can do various things you can scale the swatches, so transform, scale, and you want to deselect the objects, otherwise, that will be scaled up as well. So, I'm just going to quickly go and keep the patterns selected so set preview so you can actually resize the swatches click OK at that point now you can do rotate and various other things you can also if you wish you can also of course edit the swatches I'm just going to get rid of that and you can actually drag the swatch to the swatch there and you can then go and edit the swatches so individual items so maybe you want to keep color that something else maybe select all of them and recolor so the whole selection just read up to you so once you've done that come out of there now you can then drag that back to the swatches palette and save that as a new swatch and then you can just apply it so some text or whatever So you can just apply that so that text is applied there 
Right. So that's the basic approach. Like I say, you can use any type of uh, swatch in this sort of uh, approach. So uh, find them on the web. Find many more on graphicextras.com as well.